Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you folks are here. Welcome in and welcome back. As always, I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, we're going to do another PAA review. But before I get into it, I want to welcome those that are new. Uh, my name is Silky Creamy, and I do niche review videos of mainly shaving products, but I also dive into some skincare products and some other um, shaving related content. Uh, but uh, usually what I do is I take a deep dive uh, we take a look at the label and the product itself and then we uh, get my first um, uh, impression of the product and then we take a look at the website and find out from the artisan what was the inspiration behind the scent and what you know what's in the scent and so um, and hopefully these videos will help you folks understand uh, more about the product and uh, maybe help you decide whether or not you want to jump in or jump out um, on the scent. So today, um, and for, no wait, for those of you that are subscribers and are um, you know regulars here, um, as always, you're simply sexy and better, and you know it. Um, so I appreciate appreciate you so much if you're subscribed really really appreciate you uh that really helps the channel it also shows um to me how much people care about this type of content and um so all of that is greatly appreciated so now uh let's get right into it and i'm excited about this one because even though i don't drink i've been um sober now for what 15 years something i've not shared um but as you guys get to know me as we do more videos i'll share more and more about myself but um before i got sober i used to love coconut bay rum holy smokes that stuff was so good um so anyway it's a really sweet smelling uh rum so i'm excited to smell this and see because i love bay rum scents they're great um and then paa in my opinion makes the best bay rum on the planet i just love his bay rums they're just so good uh, it's like uh, a meal made from scratch versus a processed, uh, f you know, out of the freezer and put in the microwave. It's just just simply better. Um, so, anyway, this is the label. It's a very retro and vintage looking label. Very simple label, too. Um, you've got uh, the sailor, which I would assume is Douglas. And then... Um, I'm assuming gear. It may not be, but anyway, um, you got the mermaid and that, that is Fran. They're sitting on the beach. Very interesting. I'm not sure what he's holding on to here. Pretty cool coconut there. So we got lime leaves, the mermaid, very cool. So this is their CK6, which I'm not going to go into. I have a host of videos where I talk about it. And here is the pour, which went up to the lid, which I love. It's just original, it shows. Standard Canyon pour. We're going to jump right into the scent, folks. Okay, so this, um, I don't really pick up the coconut right off the bat. Let's see if I get it after a while. I do pick up the lime, though. So I think the coconut is not as strong. You know what's funny is when I smelled this, I thought it smelled very similar to the pineapple bay rum, but just with lime. But again, this is right off the puck. It's not lathered, um, so I am going to. Um, I know it's going to smell like coconut when when, when we lather it, because I know there's no pineapple in here. I know there's coconut, but really a nice scent. Um, Atomic H bay rum was like a nine. It was one of the few nines I've given out to two soaps. Um, that was a nine. I've never had a 10 yet. Um, 
But Atomic Age Bay Rum was a nine. I mean, just so. I mean, it just. As soon as you open the tub, it fills the room. I and mean, that's off the tub. It will fill the the scent will fill the room. Um, that's how strong that is. This is more, I would say, a seven. It's not as strongly scented, but again, it's more than mild, right? It's more than medium. It's not a five. It's so this is a um, nicely scented bay rum. Probably more than others, other manufacturers or artisans. It's a really nice uh, smelling um, bay rum with a little bit more uh, lime. Um, so you get more of that lime scent. It's not an overpowering lime whatsoever, but it's there, right? It's that compliment, right? It's that it's on the edges, just like kind of saying hi. Um, so it's a really nice scent. I'm gonna go ahead and read from the website. And this one is quite short. Um, he says, finally, coconut bay rum in our ultra premium CK6. Another classic scent from us that seems to have a cult following the origin of this scent is a bit foggy. I do believe a few years back, a customer asked me to add some coconut to my bay, a tip that didn't take much arm twisting. So a big thanks to him. Then there was the addition of lime, citrusy goodness surfing on the top of it all, uh, surfing on the top of it all. That's a good way to put it. Uh, finally feels like summer now that I find myself quote unquote cooking this one again. Here comes the sun. So he writes, uh, we added some coconut bonus to our already special bay rum essential oil blend and topped it off with a re refreshing splash of lime. And that's it, folks. That's the Sentinels. So if you're not familiar with the um, bay rum from PAA, it is the best in the industry. It is by far the best bay rum out there. Um, he makes the bay by himself from scratch without any clove. Um, it's just amazing. It's truly a beautiful scent. So obviously a very strongly scented scent. Um, so you're not gonna be wearing it to church or, uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Uh, but it's definitely a fun scent that you will wear at home or if you are uh, um, going out for drinks um, or something to that effect. Um, perfect scent, perfect summer scent too. So this is the um, aftershave. It's got some chamomile hydrosol in here. I always look now because um, the aftershave always has something that we've not seen before. And usually it's something that's not in the scent notes of the uh, soap for some reason. So you know it's just, um, again, his attention to detail is unmatched. I mean, unmatched, um, like the details and everything. Um, no, no, nobody does it better than the Phoenix shaving um, from Phoenix, you know, from PA, Douglas and Fran. The, the details and the, um, just the thought going in and then the execution is like, it seems like it's flawless. Absolutely flawless execution on their products. Their their um, shipping and everything is just packing and it's just yeah, all around a really good product. You can tell they work really hard on it and they care deeply and it's something that they really really care about. Um, not that others don't, but you know what I mean. It's just to them, it's something they they just like. It's extremely top of mind. Let's go ahead and smell this. Oh for you folks orifice reducer which i am okay with i prefer none but i'm okay with it hmm. yeah this has more of the um bay rum don't really pick up any coconut whatsoever um so the coconut must be very subtle um which maybe it's by intent to not overpower the bay and the beauty of the bay and the lime, I think, just complements the bay so well. So anyway, this is Coconut Bay with Lime. That is the official name. Um, but it's a Coconut Bay Rum with Lime. As always, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys got some insight on this. Um, as always, if you have any other information to share on the scent or any details, um, this community is growing. 
and um, there are some very important people and some very seasoned people in the community that I feel, um, you know, I'm giving the de the visuals um, of in detail, but I think some members of this community have some of the, the back end stories or um, some insight that maybe they heard directly from the artisan that I did not. And so if you have that kind of information, um, share it with us. Like we're always looking at the comments of every video. Um, my description, I try to add in a um, little bit more detail that I don't do here. And then, um, yeah, every comment is read by me in all my videos. And so um, if you have anything else to share, uh, please do, because I think there's a lot of gold oftentimes in the comments um, of every video because people are commenting and um, adding in some, you know, added, you know, background and added um, details that um, I missed during the video. Um, and so, again, my videos are not perfect. Um, I try my best, but obviously they're not perfect and they're not detailed. And um, the idea is, is that we want to learn about each sentence. That's the goal of this channel is that every cent is documented every there's a playlist for every artisan every cent is documented we go into detail and then if people have comments they can add in um and it will really help all of us right the entire community i'm trying to build this like well one of the the, the goals of this channel is to build a knowledge bank and a basically a depository or repository um of information and um and so people can go there and look for the particular scent and then be able to have a better idea because uh, oftentimes these soaps come out and um, the influencers that get the product they're shaving and they're talking and they're sharing and that's their strengths and that's why we watch uh, i'm more into the you know the mechanics and the details and the the not so um fun to watch i guess um details of the product um and so um yeah if anybody has any more information please add so as always we try to lift each other up right we try to lift each other up and um we're not always perfect and we're going to have our days where we're going to fail and we're going to have make mistakes we're humans but if we keep every day every day we consciously think about trying to make our lives better and try to be positive um you're gonna realize that it has a it, it really does make a difference and so um, and then you start realizing how simply sexier and better you are anyway take care everyone as always peace and aloha